Hi, this is Jenny Pannenbecker, Liaison Librarian for Human Nutrition, Foods, and Exercise. In this video, we're going to take a look at identifying and evaluating a research article. So what is a research article? Um, in the sense of topics you'll look at in HNFE courses and scientific research, it's an article usually published in a scholarly, often peer-reviewed journal that reports on a research study. Or, if it's a review article, it will review several research studies and give a conclusion about their results. So when you're looking for a research article, if we started with our keyword search that we tried in PubMed, and put melatonin treatment and children and insomnia in PubMed, we might find all these articles. And in fact, I did the last time I tried this search in PubMed. So research articles can be called a number of more specific things. Um, if they're reporting on a study, that study might be one of different types, so it might be called a clinical trial or an intervention. It may be called a randomized controlled trial. It might be called an observational study or a meta-analysis. So a clinical trial, intervention, um, these are studies where they're testing different treatments or different methods for addressing a problem. If it's a randomized trial, it means that the subjects have been put into groups for a control and intervention through random selection, some sort of method to make sure they're, um, they were randomly put into these groups. When they say it's a controlled trial, then it means that you had the control group and an intervention group so that you can compare these two. An observational study is similar to what it sounds like. Um, it's a study where people are observed, um, in some case, to learn more about a particular treatment or circumstance. And a meta-analysis pulls together data from many different studies and um, analyzes it as though it were one large study to try to get a better idea of trends um, or how effective a certain treatment is, or something like that. So another type of research article you might find are review articles. And these may be called also literature reviews. You might come across one called a systematic review. This is a very substantial literature review that takes a systematic approach to searching the literature um, choosing eligibility criteria for studies ahead of time, selecting the studies, extracting data. It's quite a larger process than a typical literature review. And a systematic review might include a meta-analysis. So when you're trying to identify if something is a research study article, you might want to check and see if it has uh, some of these sections. If it's reporting on a study, it'll probably tell you what their objective was, um, what methods they use or their study design, talk about their outcomes um, and results, and give you a discussion or conclusion about what that meant. In a review article, you should see that they looked at several different studies, and they're synthesizing the information from those. So when you choose an article for your assignment for this class, also remember to check that it's related to the assigned research question, that it was published in 2009 or more recently, that it's about humans, not animal research. It's a research article, um, one of the types we just discussed, and that it was published in a peer-reviewed journal. So a tip for identifying if it does meet some of these criteria, like the publication date or the article type, um, or human subjects, many databases like PubMed or Web of Science, even Summon, have options over on the left-hand side, the right-hand side, 
um, that will let you choose a publication range or an article type. So those might help you sort through your results. Um, you also want to check that your article is from a peer-reviewed journal. So two ways to do that are to go to the journal title website and see um, what you find on there in the About the Journal section or Editorial Policies, and if it says that it follows a peer-reviewed editorial policy. You can also check the Ulrich's Periodicals Directory, a VT Libraries database about journals. And if you type in the journal title um, from your citation, if you see that little referee shirt by the journal title, then you'll know it's a refereed or peer-reviewed journal. So one last thing, um, once you have your article that you've chosen, these are some things you might consider looking at to evaluate the content. Consider the authority about who wrote it, its coverage, objectivity, accuracy, and currency. And Remember that when you look up your cited examples that you can type the article title into Summon to find the full text. So the course guide has many more tips. If you have questions, just let me know. Have a great day.